Hey everybody, it's Gilbert here. I'm going to be using a size 20 synthetic bristle stencil brush. Uh, I got this in from Paula McCoy, who is a friend of mine and awesome artist. Uh, she is the owner for Colors for Earth. And uh, you can find brushes like this one, um, mop brushes, Kalinsky sable brushes. Uh, this is a trio brush, also known as a triangle brush. Uh, these are some brushes that I got in today uh, from her, and uh, I'm just going to be demoing with this right now, uh, this brush, this stencil brush. What I'm going to do here is load my bristles with a little bit of white. I'm just going to touch a little bit of side in here, a little bit of daffodil yellow, and then I'm going to come over here and offload my brush. Okay, and then I'm going to go in circular motions left and right, and I'm going to start in the center. And I'm going to be up, let's see, let me move this this way a little bit. Left and right. And it's totally okay if you have to do um, a second layer. Stenciling is about taking your time and laying down the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more yellow and make it a little bit darker as I fan out. So I'm going to pick up some more daffodil yellow, straight daffodil yellow I should say, and offload again. Offloading right here, and then I'm going to work this in. I'm sorry if this is not picking up on the camera, so I'm angling here, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. And then finally, I'm going to put some magenta. <clears throat> magenta right on these corners here. Right, let's see how this came out. So there we go. Really cool brush. And the way you're going to clean this is you're just going to get the bristles wet. You're not going to um, run this across the ridges on your brush basin if you're, that's what you're using. You're going to get your bristles wet. Then you're going to come to your paper towel and get all that extra moisture out and make sure the pigment is gone. And when you're done using your stencil brush, you know, you want to wash it with uh, hand soap. You can use something like this. This is the uh, Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. This is a really cool product. 
It smells really good too. And you just wet your bristles and you work into a leather. And this will take out any pigment that's remaining in your brush. And just run that over and over until it runs clear. And there we go, got a clean brush.